All right, class, Tuesday, 22nd of September. We got our four objectives for our, our lessons today. We're going to take a look at narrative nonfiction first. The selection The Big Race is a narrative nonfiction. Here's what narrative nonfiction means it tells a story. Okay, so we had the two guys go to the museum, we had the scientists help them, they rode in a virtual car, they talked about some, some friction, some pushes, some pulls, some gravity. That was told like a story. However, the nonfiction part means it includes lots of facts or examples about a topic. When she put her stopper down, she was giving you an example of friction. It also includes text features. This is the second week in a row where we've had these text features. Now remember, the text features are down here at the bottom. These are the ones that will help you with narrative nonfiction. First of all, we have headings. Second week in a row with headings. The headings help us to know what we're learning in each section. And then the last one, which is new this week, are these speech bubbles. Speech balloons or speech bubbles can tell what the characters are saying or thinking. So this guy's in the little race car, and he's thinking, I'm going to accelerate now, and there's a sharp curve up ahead. So these guys, now we know what they're thinking or seeing. All right, so lots of facts told like a story. Here's a fun little thing that you can experiment with. One time it worked for me, a bunch of times it didn't work for me. Here's a little bit of an experiment. We got our characters over here, so we have our speech balloon. It says, the water pressure squeezes the air in the packet, making it sink. So let's find out what you're supposed to do. You look bored. I know something fun that you can make, Mom said. What? I asked. I'll show you. You need an empty soft drink bottle and a ketchup packet. So if you've ever gone to a restaurant and they have these little ketchup packets there for you, McDonald's or Burger King or something, you need one of those, a ketchup packet. Mom said as she got the supplies, put the packet in the bottle and fill the bottle with all the way to the top with water. So we, got, we drank all the soda. It's got to be a bottle, not a can. You put the ketchup packet inside of the bottle and then fill it with water. No soda. It doesn't work in soda. Soda has bubbles in it. No bubbles. All right, then close the bottle. When she picked up the bottle and squeezed it, the packet sank. Now, the one time that I did this, I think that I had a packet that didn't have any air in it. Now, most of the time when you have a ketchup packet, you'll have a little bit of air in it. And if it has a little bit of air in it, that air should make that ketchup packet float. Now, most of the time when I do this experiment, it sinks to the bottom. So we want a ketchup packet that floats a little bit. So it's got a little bit of air in that ketchup packet. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to take your hands, you're going to squeeze the bottle as tight as you can. And when you squeeze the bottle, you increase the pressure against the water in there, which increases the pressure against the ketchup packet, which makes the ketchup packet sink to the bottom. I'm about one for four on this experiment. So I make sure you get ketchup packet that has a little bit of air, floats a little bit, and then squeeze it if you want to try it. Now, this is narrative nonfiction. We've got to figure out why. So let's go ahead and start with our name at the top. Now remember, we're going to put these back in the correct folders. This will go back into the Tuesday folder. And where should it go? Well, it'll be in fifth place on Tuesday. So you'll have a Christ light, then you'll have math facts, math power up, and math lesson. And then the fifth one is this one. So put them back in order to stay super organized. That way, when your parents check it at night, they can check it easily. All right, here we go. I kept my book ready. I have my assignment ready. That'll make it go smoother. How do you know this is narrative nonfiction? All right, so there's a bunch of things that I could use. It's told like a story. The mom's tell, talking to the girl, and the girl's talking to the mom. It includes facts. Okay, that would make it nonfiction. And it has a heading and speech bubble. So I could pick any of those. So before I pick one for that, I'm going to make sure that I'm, the other questions aren't talking about it. So this one talks about the text features, so I'll save it for that. This one talks about the heading. And what information does illustration? So I think that I'm going to use this one. It's told like a story and has facts. How do you know it's narrative nonfiction? I know. Remember, we always make a complete sentence. I know this is narrative nonfiction because it is told like a story. And it 
is filled with facts. Remember, the narrative part says, tell me like a story. And the nonfiction part is, it's true and has facts. Check to make sure I have a period at the end of my sentence. Some kids just write a little itsy bitsy tiny bit. They don't, they don't really accomplish the assignment well and their grade short. And some kids go above and beyond. Look at it, it took me two lines to fill this one up. All right, what text feature does the text include? So we had two text features. Our choices was heading or speech bubbles. And I think it has both. There it is, science in a bottle and the speech bottle. So I'm going to do both. The text features, plural, are, which is a plural verb form, headings and speech balloons. I want to make sure I spell it correctly because it's right here on my paper. Always look for the answers in your book. All right, number three. What is the heading and how could it be better? The heading, that one's easy. The heading is science in a soda bottle. Now, what's really strange about this heading is it is a soda bottle, but it doesn't have any soda in it. Science in a soda bottle. Uh, how could I make that better? I have all sorts of ideas. So you guys should have two answers for this one. One question, two questions, two answers for this one. I might call it, make my ketchup sink. Fun experiments to do at home. Soda bottle ketchup experiment. I got lots of ideas. You come up with your own and you put it right there. And then number four, what information do the illustration and speech bubbles give you? What does this tell or show you? So I start mine. The illustration and speech bubbles, what? What do they do? Now I think they explain more about what the text tells you, right? The speech bubble and the illustration shows what the text tells you. So that's what I'd put for this one. Probably should fill up both lines. All right, guys, so that's the first part of our lesson for today. Stay tuned for the second video to talk about cause and effect, a new objective for this week.